And today we're going to show you how to make your very own paintbrush from nature. And after we make our paintbrushes, we're going to create kindness cards that we can send to people we love and care about. Who do you want to send your card to, Lila? My grandparents. Grandparents are great people to send love and kindness to, right? Yeah. We also can send it to our friends and family. We can send them to people who are in nursing homes right now who might need a little extra cheering up. So here's what you're going to need to make your paintbrush. You'll need twigs the size of paintbrush handles, flowers, acorns, leaves, and any other things found outside. And don't forget the small rubber band to tie it all together. Yeah, and in the end, your paintbrush should look like this. this. And for the kindness cards, you're just going to need some blank paper that you can fold in half, or if you already have pre-folded uh, blank cards, that'll work. You need envelopes. Um, you'll need some paint, of course. A bowl of water is helpful and some paper plates to put your paint on to make a palette. Are you ready to get started, Lila? Yes. Let's go! to make our paintbrushes. So what do we need to do first, Lila? First, pick your twig. Ooh, pick a good twig, okay. I got this one, what have you got? I got, and I have this one. Good. Next, pick like um, the flowers or leaves that you want to use for your bristles. Okay. I chose these. Oh, that's pretty good. Are you gonna choose some and other ones? And a couple of petals. Okay, so choose a couple that you like. Colorful. I think I'm gonna use like this, maybe this leaf. And I really like this little thing we found looks like a like a wood chip that looks like yeah. a broom, right? Yeah. So I kind of choose the things you want and let's just kind of put them all together in one place. And when you're ready, with your stuff, you're gonna take a rubber band and put it around your twig. This part's a little bit tricky, so you might want to ask my rubber band an adult though? to help you. Do you know the one here? <laughs> take that one. Okay, good. And what you want to do is you might have to twist it twice. And then you lift it up, and you're gonna put your found objects in. You put the stems of the leaf in. You're gonna use this rubber band to keep it tight to your twig. I'm gonna need two. And these are going to be your bristles, right? I'm gonna need two. You're gonna need two. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. Because I'm gonna need to add these things. So it's kind of fun to put a whole bunch of different objects in to see what kind of designs they'll make when we're ready to paint. You can use cardstock or any kind of plain paper to do yours. And then we have these acrylic paints. And again, you can use any kind of paint that you can put a little water on and run your nature brush through. All right, so now what I like to do first is take the brush and kind of get it wet. This yeah, get all the little, all the elements wet like that. Get some paint on it, and then you can just make designs on your card. You can do this any way you want.
Nature paint brushes. You can see they're still wet, so we're going to let them dry. My hand on this. And when they're dry, we're going to write our notes inside and send them to the people we love and care about. Well, that was really fun. That was really fun. Was that fun, Lila? Yeah. It was a cool project. It was an outdoor project and an art project. So thanks so much for joining us. If you're interested in more projects like this, follow us on Instagram at Mindful Littles, or you can check out our website, mindfullittles.org. We have a lot of other mindfulness projects and kindness projects and activities for littles and bigs. So thanks so much for being with us.